This is everything included in the Zepair box. I'll show you how easy it is to get started. You'll need a helium tank, a 9 volt battery for the controller, and two strong AA batteries to power the charger. The red light should come on and it should remain on after inserting the green rechargeable battery. We'll use these red adhesive strips to bond the balloon connector to the motor vehicle just behind the black switch. Apply the red adhesive strips to the vehicle sides And then grab the cup at the end so you can squeeze it and open the mating surfaces. That will allow you to position it. Make sure that it sits all the way down because you want it to be uh, aligned with the vehicle. It should be parallel when viewed from the side and it should run straight along the vehicle center line when viewed from the top. Clearly we need to make an adjustment so carefully twist until it looks centered and then squeeze to fix the position of the connector. You'll need scissors to cut the fins and you'll need these white stickers for mounting them. Cut the fin envelopes at a diagonal and then fold these white adhesive strips at the ends and mount them inside the thin envelope. You want the sticky side running along the exterior. And yet, so you want to do this to um, the other three fins as well. Now take the balloon, open it up, and fold it over to locate the center and go ahead and mark that uh, with a piece of uh, clear tape. This will help us to um, mount the vehicle the proper location. So now that we have the center Make sure that the balloon is oriented properly and we'll use a couple more clear strips to um, mount.
Now we're ready to load up the vehicle with the ballast plates. Take a, a stack of them at a time and snap them in behind the, the connector. Just put in as many as you can fit. And then, after the battery has charged, I'd say for at least about 15 to 20 minutes, the longer it charges, the longer playtime you'll have. And uh, you can even charge it overnight, it's okay. We want it to be fully loaded. One more thing we can do is anchor the vehicle with the controller. That'll help it from moving around too much as we inflate it. And then <clears throat> open up the valve on the helium tank all the way and insert the balloon valve in to the end of the nozzle. Now inflate it until you see the ripples disappear. The creases will remain, but you can fill it as far as, as that. The last step then is to just mount the fins. The balloon is marked. in places where they'll mount. And do that to the top and the bottom and the other side. Now what we want to do is adjust the ballast so it's slightly less than buoyant. What that means is we want it to come down without power but just as slowly as possible. So remove ballast plates until it floats upward one at a time. There we go. And then replace one plate. So you want it to just very, very slowly drop. Then, when you're ready, power the vehicle first and then the controller with it directed towards the rear. And as soon as you see this green navigation light flash, you're ready to go. Have fun with the Zep Bear.